Hey you guys, I am back with another video and I want to talk about my four year self love journey coming up on five, okay? So next year I'll be 38 and you know, I've been by myself since I was 33 and this has been a, a process for me, a long journey considering the fact that I was, you know, in and out relationships all my life and um I've done a lot a lot of self growth so today I just you know make sure you also like share subscribe to my channel um thank you to my supporters everybody that listened to my videos um if I've said or you know done anything that has encouraged you to want to do better to you know, want to avoid tragedy and live a better life because that's truly what I'm called to do through my story. I help other people break free from, you know, generational curses, pulling down strongholds and then breaking free from addiction. So, and it, you know, I was, today has just been really a day of reflecting for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, um, <clears throat> I'm like, man, I've been through a lot, you know, and, you know, through my story, I never really wanted to accept the call on my life because I didn't want to talk about my story. I was just, I was tired, you know, I was tired of the story. I'm like, God, when is the story going to change? You know what I'm saying? And, um, this is, it's been a journey, you know, from me moving out of the country in 2018 building a business losing the business going through a divorce having to get my immigration status in Mexico thank God for that because I now got dual citizenship but just you know going through the divorce just taking so many losses you know what I'm saying after all my hard work I did moving my family of five out of the country and then you know being married to somebody that didn't want to see you succeed and you know these things that we go through over the course of you know what I'm saying years they still do sometimes you know the memory of a thing is still there even though it happened to you you can forget the past you can move on but the fact is that it still happened you know what I'm saying and a lot of people really didn't know what had happened to me they didn't know what I went through but just looking back over the course of my life and losing my grandmother um I'm like man God I've been through a lot I've been through so much in four years and then being isolated from people um you know cutting family members off you know um friends off a lot of people God separated me from and I had to take so many losses and then you know the past couple years I, I mean even through me losing stuff you know um, and all my hard work feeling like you know like God why everything you know didn't work out and you know I was just honestly I was just married to somebody that was jealous of me you know so be careful who you marry you know what I'm saying be careful who you build with and I thank God that I'm in the position to rebuild by myself you know what I'm saying uh I, I you know and um I mean going through that like a lot of people really don't know they don't know about you know um there's there's different levels of narcissism so now i'm helping other women heal from past ancestral trauma breaking free from ungodly sexual soul ties and um you know there's there's different levels of wickedness and to be married to somebody that wanted to see me fail to want to you know they wanted to see me homeless without nothing it's just it's miserable like i literally overcame 
the devil. Like, you know, somebody that was doing death spells to you, beauty spells, trying to block your finances, trying to block, you know, love from coming into your life. You know, they didn't want people to love you. They didn't want your business to be successful. You know, having a, I had to cut off my mom, you know, having a jealous mother, you know, uh, people being, just being around people that's, all, I've been around people all my life. You know what I'm saying? That's been jealous of me, fake friends, you know, friends that, you know, that didn't, they don't know how I'm as strong as I am. Like, you know, your strength intimidate people. That's the honest to God truth. And I, I, I said today, I was reflecting on everything, you know, moving back to America, flying to Africa, making sacrifices for my mom, making sacrifices uh, for my dad, you know, just taking care of other people, showing up for other people. And I'm like, dang, God, you know, at the end of the day, it's always just me and you, you know, like I'm, I know I'm your favorite, but dang, like I, I, I feel like sometimes I can't even be around people. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in a place of me walking in my purpose now. And I, I humbly accept this position. You know what I mean? And I walk in it with empathy, you know? And it's like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm called to other people that have been brokenhearted. People that has always had to fight chaos. They have always had to overcome the God of chaos which is Satan himself. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's being through family members, through your spouse, through your mother, your father, you know, uh, co-workers. I mean, just, it's, it's just, I've been through so much. I'm like, I don't even know how the hell I'm still standing, God. You know, I'm like, when people tried to kill me, that didn't even build me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, everything that people did to me was returned back to them. <laughs> and I be feeling sorry for people but right now in my life I don't feel sorry for nobody I don't cause I didn't put in that work I didn't put in hard work I didn't uh, over the course of four years of my life and I got three kids and I, I work seven days a week okay and I went back to get my nursing license okay and I didn't been working on building businesses on the back end the whole time I'm in a foreign country healing myself I, I put in the spiritual work I put in the outer work like I'm like God you know what I'm, I'm at a good place I'm at a good place but it it hurt me because I'm so loving I'm so kind I'm so sincere and I have to walk this walk alone, just me and God, because people are so intimidated by me. They intimidated by my strength. They like, God, how she make it? How she do this? How she do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are threatened by me. Everybody I'm telling you that I encounter, they feel like I'm their competition, you know? And it's just crazy. Like, people don't even believe in you, but they didn't see, they see how you move. <laughs> And I'm like, people, they walk away from me. They be intimidated. They stop talking to me and everything. Like, I didn't even have to cut people off. Because people, when I came back into their life, they thought they was praying for me to come back in their life. But then when God brought me back into their life, they thought that I was the same person when I didn't been completely transformed and changed from the inside out. Like, I didn't put in that work work. Put in the work that people don't even want to put in on a daily basis. I got three kids. Like, I'm like... Like God, why everybody else get they get I feel like everybody else gets scot free. They get they they life is just scot free while I'm out here busting my ass, busting my ass, taking care of my kids, standing on my business. Like I came back to America, rebuilt my life in seven months. Seven months. It took me seven months. What I did in seven months, it take people sometimes seven years. I had to get another car. Came here with a car. You know what I'm saying? I was living with my dad. Had to find somewhere else to stay for me and my kids. Then I had lost my job when I got back here. So I was unemployed for two months. So every time I'm unemployed or something go down, like I've been having job, job, this job, that job. Ever since I lost my business, I moved out of the country, built that business so me and my family can have an income for my, you know what I'm saying? Man, listen, y'all don't even, y'all don't even want to know. Y'all don't even, man, I'm, I trust my struggle. I trust my struggle. 
I sure do. But I'm telling you, I make it look easy. I carry my weight different. I'm disciplined. I know God has trained me in, in every area of my life. The Holy Spirit has taught me. Like, I'm just like, God, please bring me genuine people in my life. Because these people that I've been dealing with, they suspect. They criminals. They co These people are career criminals, y'all. I'm like, you try to do good. The people that do good out here, they they always, they, they man, they end up, they heart be bleeding. I'm like, People, people don't understand. God is, I've been through so much stuff. And I didn't pay back my karmic debt. I didn't broke generational curses. I didn't pull down the strongholds. And I didn't broke free from addiction. Like, I, I, I am rainbows of hope. But the walk has not been no cakewalk for me. <laughs> it ain't been no cakewalk, baby dealing with narcissistic spouses and family members and people that people they don't even know you like mm -mm -mm. they don't even know how gifted you are how talented you are like I'll be like man people don't even know me people don't even know me they think they know me. They don't know me. They don't know my story. But through my story, I'm helping other people. So, all I wanted to tell y'all is to be strong, y'all, out there. Like, this is not the beginning of the year. Because this, you know, we on this Gregorian calendar. But according to the Hebraic calendar, okay, the New Year start, um, next year y'all listen anyway <coughs> I ain't finna talk about that right now but I just I just thank God for my life I thank God cause I'm not even supposed to be here on this video right now cause my ex-husband he wanted to see me dead homeless financially broke busted and disgusted <laughs> he wanted me to be ugly he wanted me to be fat he wanted me to fail he didn't want to see me succeed he wanted my business to fail. But thank God he gave me purpose. He couldn't take that from me. <laughs> he couldn't take my gifts away from me either. And me going through all of that, it didn't do nothing but spiritually enhance my gifts. That's all it did. That's all it did. Spiritually, I'm gifted. I done been elevated. I done been through several spiritual initiations. Yo. My angels protect me still. I humbly accept this powerful position as a spiritual practitioner that I walk in. And I walk in it humbly and, and having empathy for other people so they can avoid tragedy. So y'all could live a better life. You know what I'm saying? Because you even even everything, all the hell I done been through, all the people I done sacrificed for, the people that didn't try to take from me all of that i'm still on top i'm still on top i'm still winning god is still elevating me they ain't do nothing but push me into my purpose so i thank god your haters do make you greater every hater has made me greater okay i just thank god that i'm able to walk this walk alone i'm telling you but god it's a new season and a new day and I know he's going to bring what I need when I need it. And it's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. Everybody that shitted on me, they're going to have to just sit back and watch me rise to the top now by myself. While I'm going to be helping other people break generational curses. I'm going to be helping y'all live a, a godly life and avoid tragedy. Like, do my story. So you won't make the same mistakes that I, I, I have made. You know what I'm saying? By over giving yourself to uh, toxic people, suspects, <laughs> what they say, shysty. Lord, how mercy.
Those who live their life for Christ will suffer persecution. And if you suffer with him, you're going to reign with him. Okay? I'm reigning with Christ in this season on everything that I love. And I'm glad that God cut everybody off that needed to be cut off in this season of my life. Because I'm telling you, I have been sacrificing y'all for everybody else. But baby, I ain't, I, I ain't never sacrificed for myself like I'm about to sacrifice now. So, people gonna be like, she, she act funny. She, she do. Yep, I sure do. When it come to me, baby, I act, I sure am. Cause guess why? I'm, I'm a gift to the world. And in order for me to serve y'all, I have to, um, in order for me to serve y'all, okay, I gotta take care of myself. I can't be around here playing with folks. Please. People be playing with their life on a daily basis. Not me. Not me. I'm all about business. Okay? For me and mine. So, listen. <laughs> Make sure y'all get y'all number changed before the end of the year. <laughs> so all them old, shysty, suspect, career criminals can't call you no more. <laughs> Please. You can live a better life and avoid tragedy for real, for real. Okay, y'all. I gotta take myself to eat lunch, okay? So... I didn't been in the bed. I didn't got my beauty rest. I didn't wash my hair. I didn't had my beauty treatments and my massages and my microdermabrasions and all that good stuff. Oh my God. And now I have to go eat salad because I got to take care of me. <laughs> and watch what I put in my body. And y'all should be doing the same thing. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be. I, don't, I think I'm gonna be talking more about my testimony, my story, and we're gonna get more into these generational curses, pulling down strongholds, breaking free from addiction, how your angels are sent to serve you, and um, we're gonna be talking about how you gonna heal all this trauma past life karma I'm so glad I healed my past life karma y'all cause baby <laughs> I got good fortune coming <laughs> okay they are already packed for lunch let's see it's a beautiful day it's sunny out here and um Oh, you know what? I got to get off of here. I think I had a meeting, y'all, at 3 o'clock, and the person is calling me, so I got to go. Love y'all. <laughs>